my Lord, my God, it is in you that I take refuge. So save me from all who persecute me. Deliver me, lest they tear my soul as a lion would, tearing me to pieces, while no one rescues me. My Lord, my God, if I have done this thing, if there is injustice in what I do, if I do evil to my friend, or without cause, pillage an enemy, then allow my enemy to pursue me and collect my soul. Allow him to trample my life into the ground and to lay my honor in the dust of humiliation and death. Arise, my Lord, and in your anger assert yourself against the rage of my attackers. Arouse yourself on my behalf, according to the decision, to the judgment that you have commanded. And gather an assembly of nations around you and return your judgment upon them from on high. The Lord will execute judgment upon the nations, calling them to account for themselves. Exonerate me, my Lord, on account of that which is in me both righteousness and purity. Avenge the evil done by the wicked. Bring it to an end. But firmly establish the righteous, as you, O righteous God, put to the test their moral character and their deepest secrets. Sovereign God has undertaken my defense. He is the one who helps the righteous heart. Sovereign God is a righteous judge, and he is a God who shows his righteous anger every day. If a man will not turn and keep his whole life turned towards God, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow, making them both ready for war. He will prepare his weapons of death. He will make his arrows into shafts of fire. Listen well. He who is pregnant with imminent disaster, who conceives harm and who gives birth to that which deceives and betrays, this man has dug a pit and dug it deep. But it is he who will fall into the trap which he has made. The harm that he intends will be returned upon him. The violence he intends will descend, landing upon his own head. I will give thanks and praise to the Lord on account 
of his righteousness. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. 